Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year's. Today I'm going to make some chicken alfredo. What I have in front of me, I have, uh, this is a roti with chicken. So the chicken, I just slice it small. Garlic, garlic, onions, and a stick of butter. I have three cups of um, heavy cream. And I have two yellow yolk. Okay, then of course we're going to use some wine. We're going to use white wine. So let's begin. Okay, so we're going to add, we're going to put some, um, we're going to use olive oil. Because we're going to saute the uh, garlic and um, onions. Okay, so we're going to wait this until hot. So... The noodles we're going to use is we're going to use the um, macaroni noodles, noodles, that means elbow macaroni noodles, so I'm going to the water, it's hot, it's boiling, so I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use one pack of elbow macaroni noodles, okay? And we're going to cook that for six minutes, okay? So I'm going to adjust this heat. Okay, then I'm going to put the garlic. Now with the garlic, guys, make sure you chop it um, small. Okay, and we're going to saute this. Not burn, not brown, but make sure like all the, um, the sweetness from the onions will, you know, allow to release. Okay. Gonna soak it there. So we're gonna soak it this for five minutes. Okay. Remember, you don't want to burn it. Next, I am going to put a half cup of white wine. And we have to make sure that the, the wine is completely cooked. So that way your food, your, um, what do you call that? Your um, Alfredo sauce is not going to smell like a, a wine or a liquor. So we're going to allow that to cook. Okay. You're gonna saute that very well. You allow that to cook. So next I'm gonna add a stick of butter. Just gonna chop it so they would melt faster. Mm, it smells so good guys it smells so good okay so next we're gonna add it's the heavy cream I have three cups of heavy cream okay Then I'm gonna add the two yellow yolk. Now you wanna know why you are adding um, eggs. The eggs is help to thicken 
the sauce. Okay, so just mix it really well. Then I'm gonna add half cup, one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. Again, the Parmesan also help the sauce to so thicken. Okay. Now, if you guys don't have any heavy cream, uh, to replace the heavy cream, you can use um, cream cheese for your um, sauce. You know, sometimes we just don't have one available, we don't have a heavy cream. And if you have a um, cream cheese, you can use the cream cheese. Okay. Now I'm going to add some salt for taste. on this until completely done because we have more um, we're gonna add the chicken to the sauce just perfect good morning my baby good morning you sleep good grandma's making some sauce okay okay so it's boiling guys so I'm gonna adjust my heat and it's important that you're gonna continue stirring it because um, you don't want to stick at the bottom of your pan. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chicken. Okay. This is rotary chicken, guys, that I bought from the store. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do. To oh, oh, there it is. Got that. Okay. And then I said, what I'm going to do, my rotary chicken, besides just plain chicken, then my grandchildren are here today, and one of their favorite is um, chicken Alfredo, so that's why I decided to make the Alfredo. Okay. And my grandson's here is in the kitchen, he just woke up. I'm gonna taste again, guys. Make, make sure it's balanced. It is good. You see, guys, how it's thick. Okay. It's thick, you know. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in this one. It is parsley. I'm using parsley. Since we don't have any fresh parsley, we're going to use dried parsley. Okay. That. We're going to mix it again. It is so creamy. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to add the noodles with this sauce. And then I'll um, mix it all together. Since it's just a family, we're not like in business, so just gonna add these noodles. And because I don't have any spaghetti noodles, so that's the reason I I am using the um, elbow noodles, elbow macaroni. Okay, gonna mix it really well. Mmm, it looks so good, and it's really good too. Now I'm going to turn off my burner because I don't want to be overcook my noodles guys. By the way, my noodles I just cooked for 6 minutes. Um, the reason why, because when you drop that to the sauce, they continue the cooking. So you don't want to be your noodles smooshy. Okay. okay. So that's it guys. This is how I make my 
delicious chicken alfredo this is for my family dinner tonight we're just cooking early today so that way I don't need to worry about later on because I have some errands to run today so that's it guys I'm gonna show you what it look like as you can see chicken alfredo so anyhow thank you thank you so much guys I appreciate your time, your patience, and I'm sorry, guys. I didn't have, did not uh, cook anything um, on Christmas because if you remember, I posted a video that where we're invited with my um, son's brunch at her house, his house. So, anyhow, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Um, sorry, yeah. thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys have wonderful New Year's. Yeah. I love you guys. May God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's my grandson's feet, you can see. He just woke up. Say hi, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Again, thank you guys so much. Have a good day. I love you guys. May God bless you all. Bye-bye.